Hi, my name is HED. This channel is all about fun art challenges. I hope through these challenges I can improve my art skill and share my journey with you. For today's challenge, I am going to do a three marker challenge with these Copic markers. Basically, I will color two line arts that I prepared with three randomly selected markers from this box. I will first choose the three markers for my original character. Let's see what I will get. The first color is... Smoky Blue. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like this color a lot and it'll look great on the kimono. Next is... Napoli Yellow. This could be great for highlights. I'm hoping to get pink or red next. And let's see what we get. Forest green. Not looking forward to this color, but I'll try my best. And moving on, we'll be doing for this vampire character. The first color is violet. Love the color, but this marker loves to bleed everywhere. Next is leather. This is cool. It will go really well with the clothing he's wearing. Maybe a blue or red marker next would be cool too. And the marker is lemon yellow. Yellow is really showing up in a lot of my art recently. But here's the colors I selected one more time. And let's get started. Okay, I'll start by coloring in the vampire character first. This character was actually from my first Pinterest challenge, which might be why he looks familiar if you have watched it. Since I finished the original video, I've been wanting to redraw him and thought this would be the perfect opportunity. Also, as the original was just a sketch, there isn't really a color scheme, so it works out well with this challenge. The good thing about the colors I picked are they worked perfect to give off Halloween vibes. For sure they can't fail with my vampire OC, but then again it's only three colors, so it was hard to determine what colors would go where. The one thing I'm super happy about that didn't happen was the purple marker didn't bleed. It usually gushes out ink, but it was nice to me this time while I was coloring in the cape. For the pants, I knew I wanted them to be brown from the beginning to give off a historic feeling, and of course the color itself is leather, so he must be wearing leather pants. What about for the shoes? Purple seems cool, but let's go with brown. Looks pretty classic so far, don't you think? And with the base brown color down, time to shade. The purple ended up being a great way to make shadows on the brown pants and blended better than I was expecting. Jumping over to the hair. Oh wait, I can't show you just yet. It's almost done, but please hold on until the end of the video and I'll show you how it turned out. Now time to color in my original character, which also happens to be my profile picture. If you're interested in seeing how I developed the character, check out the link in the description of this video. I wanted something reddish or pink to match the original colors, but I got something completely different. I started with the eyes and tried to do a blend of all three colors because I had no clue on how to color the rest of the drawing. I ended up going with green for the hair because how else was I supposed to use green? Especially if I wanted to do a blue kimono. Green definitely isn't my top choice for a hair color, but so far it's not looking too bad. Maybe. I initially left the highlights of the hair white, but thought it was a little boring and went back in to color them yellow, which for some reason I couldn't get to blend out well. And after coloring the hair, I was already starting to feel a little discouraged with how things were turning out. Hopefully adding in smoky blue will help make it look better. I used this color first for the beret and it didn't come out too badly. I tried to shade it with the green, but you can barely notice it if you want me to be honest. And after the beret, I started to color in the pen and the kitty. I tried to give a calico cat feel to it if you can't tell. And then I moved on to the kimono. Of course, I was super excited to get to this because I knew the smoky blue color would be perfect. At least, that's what I was hoping for. So let's see how both pictures came out. 
Don't you think they came out kind of cool? First, let's take a look at the finished vampire character. It doesn't look too bad, but I guess I should have added in more purple to give more Halloween scary vibes. Instead, it kind of looks like flan or creme brulee. I think adding purple as his pants would have been a better balance, or at least to his shoes. The thing I really like was how his hair turned out. I used multiple layers of brown and purple, which created an interesting effect. For my original character, uh, it's not too bad, I think. I was worried about using green and somehow most of the picture ended up having some form of green to it. Also the kimono looked kinda boring so I tried to add a pattern and sorry, I think I failed. The idea in my head looked much cooler. I do think the color balance on this one is better and I'm kind of liking the yellow boots with the green skirt. That's it for today's challenge. I think this challenge looked kinda fun and I wanted to try it out but wasn't expecting to get yellow twice. But that's part of what makes this challenge fun, right? So how do you think these came out? Please feel free to leave a comment below or like the video. Also, I'd be super happy if you subscribed. See you next time.